Welcome to Applications of Deep Neural Networks in PyTorch with Washington University. In this video, we're going to look at feature engineering in Pandas. This can be very useful for when you need to engineer features on tabular data ahead of sending it off to PyTorch for prediction. The link to this notebook is in the description. I'm going to go ahead and open it in Google Colab in case we need to run anything. I'm going to begin by just showing you how to calculate fields. So here we're going to load the miles per gallon data set that we've used many times before just for simple examples. I'm going to show you how to calculate the weight in kilograms and place it in. So we're going to insert near the beginning at position one, weight in kilograms. And that is going to be calculated by putting the weight in pounds and multiplying it by 0.45, which is just a ratio that I looked up. And you can see that it is calculated here. I also round it to an integer. Actually, that's more of a truncate to an integer. We're going to also see how we can pull in external data. This can be very useful, and you can use various APIs to get you this sort of data. I am using Google Cloud, and you have to get a, an API key. I define my API key off as an environmental variable so that I can run it, and I don't have my API key embedded into this notebook. It costs money to use a Google API key. It's extremely cheap, but if enough people are using it, it will spike up. So don't ask me for my Google API key. I will not give it to you. So here you would load it. If you want to just paste it into here, go ahead and do that. But be careful if you do that. Don't accidentally send this notebook out somewhere. Believe me, there's spiders and other things that are written that go looking for keys. What we're going to use the geocoding API in Google to do is say you have addresses in your data. What do you do with an address or even a zip code? That can be that can be difficult to really transform into something that you can put into a PyTorch neural network. What you can do with the geocoding is pass the address into Google geocoding, and it'll give you a latitude and longitude for that address. And the latitude and longitude, now you've got two values, and it kind of indicates how far north, and just differences between other ones can can tell you how far away they are. So you can often just put the two lati the latitude and longitude values into the data frame, just like they, in instead of the string address. You can also calculate distances. Maybe you're doing, you're working with some sort of a company that has distribution centers or life insurance, like I work with. Maybe you're going to calculate the distance between each customer's address and the nearest insurance home office that they could just go in and buy it from and where the agents typically work out of. You could also calculate the distance major cities in the United States or the world even, because then that gives you an idea of how urban or rural that address actually is. Just some ideas. Here I show you that we look up the address for Washington University, Brookings Hall, and we print out that latitude and longitude. This can be useful because address information contains a lot of information. Life insurance and insurance in general, we are very interested in if people smoke or not. Smoking decreases your lifespan, most, most likely. And here you can see that smoker status, as we call it, is very correlated to the state that you're in. California, very, very little smoking. Utah as well. Right here, sort of the coal belt, I think, of the United States. A lot more smoking. And in through here, Missouri, we're somewhere in the middle. So that's just showing you that the location is important for other health factors as well. How close are you to a grocery store that actually has organic food and leafy vegetables? Or are you going to the local convenience store that has everything in cans? Just various, various things where location, 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 as the real estate agents say. So we're going to calculate the distance. And the distance between two locations on a sphere, the Earth is an exact sphere, but it's close enough, can be calculated using this equation. So what I do here is I wrote a function that makes use of that equation. 
and we we can do the dist so that's the distance in latitude and longitude that's just the equation written in python this is the thing that calls the google api and now i'm able to basically look up the distance between washington university and then i picked the university that i did my doctorate at which is in florida which was which was a nice place to, to do a doctorate. Uh, I did it remote, so I was there four times, four times a year, but there's, there's worse places to travel to. The distance between St. Louis and Fort Lauderdale, Florida, between these two specific addresses is 1,600 kilometers. You wouldn't want to walk, unless you're Forrest Gump. So the other things you might calculate is distance to a major metropolitan area, distance to a competitor, distance to a distribution center, retail outlet, etc. Here I put in a whole bunch of universities and I calculate the distance between Washington University and each of those. Thank you for watching this video. And if you'd like to follow along with the course, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, click the bell so that you don't miss a video. And if this was useful, please smash the like button. Thank you very much.